So I've been drifting 22 years, basically since day one of Formula Drift. The highest I finished in the past was uh, win the championship, which was 2011. I wouldn't say 2011 was easy, but compared to today, a lot easier. So to win a championship nowadays, is, it's so hard. You know, for me to keep doing this for the, so long, it's not easy, you know, a lot of sacrifice. You have to work hard to keep doing it. I don't know how long more I can go, but um, yeah, it's been a blast. What's up guys, my name is Dai Yoshihara. We're here for uh, Formula Drift Round 6 at uh, St. Louis. Um, and today is Thursday, which is the uh, practice day. And this year, uh, FD decided to do the, the new layout, but um, my third lap uh, basically brew the motor. This is actually our first time brew up the motor, maybe last four years, four to five years. So it's really, really uh, not uh, expected. Um, so I was surprised and I'm, I'm pretty bummed, but um, it is the part of the game. So, uh, and that's, a, that's the reason why we have the spare motor always travel together with this parking tire rig. Um, so we're gonna just switch up and hopefully everything's gonna go perfect afterwards. I try to act like I'm helping. It's out. Where do I go from here? Motor let go, and uh, when it let go, it really let go. It blew out both sides of the block and the oil pan. We just pushed through, changed the motor out, so we're pretty confident with the rest of the weekend. I mean, we know that motor was uh, proven. We used it all year last year. So it, it came out of a running, you know, it was running perfect then. Why can't it run perfect now, so. What's going on, you know? So today is pretty much done. Um, the guys are still working on the engine, but I know they're gonna, they're gonna finish in like hour or two. Um, so car will be ready for tomorrow. Um, so go back to our house today and you know just reset and try to learn as much as I can tonight and yeah come back tomorrow and try to get ready for qualifying. Wish me luck. Sure. Here you go, Corey. Lotion. Ooh, right on, thanks Ryan. Does die no karate? Yeah, he does. does. I can do that? I can actually believe that one. Huh? Actually, I, yeah, I, I believe he knows karate, but not you. Nah. <laughs> I I don't know karate, but I know crazy. Oh, cool. What are you doing, dude? What you going to get, Mike? Probably like a burger or something. Morning. Morning. Morning, Morning, Morning Dad. Morning, 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 Morning. Morning. So uh, coming into the last event to Seattle, uh, I was standing like 13th position and then ended up uh, getting the third place. Um, so that kind of put me in, like put me jumped on the, the championship points and now I'm standing on eighth. I mean, it's still super cool. So it could be opposite, you know, after this round, I could drop. That's, uh, that's how much competitive this series is these days. Yeah, the car's back. Uh, it runs really well. I feel like this motor is actually stronger than the one I blew up yesterday anyways. So yeah, it was great. Um, and also in the practice, I was able to consume all the, the practice that I can do since yesterday. Yeah, I had a little boost leak uh, in the beginning of practice, but they found out because I feel something wrong. So they, I told them and they found out. They fixed it, and I, I think I gained like 200 horsepower from that point. So yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a good day. 
this clamp here slid off the rib. So this fell back. So it was a little leak right here? I'm gonna check the data again off that last run since you said there was so much more. Just to make sure we're good. Try to like... Get loose. Get loose and hyped at the same time, you know? <laughs> Get ready for that 300 horsepower. Free flying run is coming up, so I'm just gearing up. Um, hopefully it goes well. Wish me luck. I needed to get a really good score on the second run. Um, but it wasn't my best, actually. I, I didn't make a major mistake, but a uh, little bit of mistake here and there. And, but still got 88, so I, I, I take it. Um, after the you know engine failure yesterday, uh, 45, 11. Actually, it, this is the worst qualifying score this season so far, but not too shabby, I guess. I feel like I'm already sunburned, already hot. Like it's, you're you're it pretty red already. I'm only gonna get a redder neck right now. 94, right? Oh. No, no, I got a 92. 92. Oh. Die, I'll take it. Die's still the best. He's the champion. He's the best. <laughs> right, yeah. So uh, we just got done with the uh, driver's meeting. It was a little bit long. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to drive, man. Just see how it goes. Finally getting gearing up for my first bottle, top 32. Uh, two more bottles in my turn, so I'm um, getting focused right now. Wish me luck. I kind of did a little conservative side of the lead run, but still decent one. And uh, I think he, uh, he spun out when, when he was following. And when we switched, he had a really good lead run, um, but I was able to follow him decently distance throughout the, the track. So um, got moved on. The next one will be Torque. He's a uh, really fast and good driver, so it's going to be a tough one, but uh, I'll do my best and hope to kick his ass. No, it's drivable, so it should be fine. Possibly. So uh, we just finished a uh, top 16 ceremony, which is uh, one of the best part of the show because it's right in front of the grandstand, so you know so many people came out. You know it's an IndyCar track, so it was really cool to see the people up there. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, we're all ready for the top 16 battle. Oh, lobsters everywhere! Uh, when I follow him, I, the, my follow wasn't great, uh, but I didn't make like big, big mistake, but I still stay behind him, but uh, wasn't the greatest, I admit it. I think my lead one was good, decent, um, but I guess they didn't like how I slowed down right before the inner two crip. I should have get on the gas sooner. That's the reason why uh, I got knocked out, because he spun out. But my question is, if he didn't spin out, and if the run was went through, it could have been one more time. The fact he spun out, they have to choose whose fault. And this time, they had to choose me. It's kind of like the first time I got kind of frustrated. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys had a great time following around this weekend. Uh, it was a little tough one for us, but uh, you know, I'm glad that, you, that I can share what we are going through with you guys. And, uh, you know, we're going to regroup and be stronger for next round. So please keep watching and uh, see you in Texas.